It's time now to ask the expert and here to answer your questions live on air is Dr. Sonal Harder and we are talking about popular weight loss drugs, some of which have been counterfeit. So let's get to our question here. Laura from Phoenix, she's got a couple of them. Ozempic is not FDA approved for weight loss, but doctors still prescribe it for that. How does that work? Is it safe and will my insurance cover it? Okay, let's tackle this one by one. Okay, here. so Laura, number one, Ozempic is simply semaglutide. Ozempic is the market name and the medication inside is called semaglutide. Oh, okay. And then um, Ozempic was actually released by FDA in 2017 for diabetes. So yes. For treatment of diabetes. Now what happened was a social media kind of blew it up and called Ozempic as a weight loss medication. Mm -hmm. But then the weight loss medication semaglutide was FDA approved in 2021 okay. under the name of Wigovi. So essentially they both have semaglutide. Yes. The administration and doses are different, but okay. one is approved for weight loss, one for diabetes. So if your doctor writes for Ozempic for weight loss, yes. it is likely going to be denied because Ozempic is actually a diabetic Di medication. Yes. Okay, so that's one number two. Insurance coverage is still such a huge problem. I mean, I'm an obesity expert. I have patients who come to see me and I, I have a hard time getting prior authorization done. It's such a process, so it is actually difficult. Safety-wise, it's really risk and benefit ratio, mm -hmm. depending upon who your patient is, what their medical history is, okay. what kind of risks they have. So it's really a very serious conversation between your patient and the healthcare provider who knows about these medications and obesity treatments. And you had mentioned during the commercial, there are no generics for this. There are no generics for these medications. So if you're finding generics online, that is your red flag. Okay. Also, I want to quickly mention to our viewers that semaglutide.com is a good website to go to to check for fake versus real prescriptions. Okay, great I think it's know. important. It's from the company Nova Nordisk that actually got into it because yeah. of the fake prescriptions okay. and they have great information on that website. Okay, semiglutide.com. Okay, good to know. Kelly from Gilbert says, when taking Ozempic, do I still need to do other things for it to work better like diet and exercise? Sam, you know I like this question. Yes. Kelly, I'm glad you asked this question. And here's the reason why. The foundation of any weight loss program is actually healthy lifestyle, mm -hmm. which is good nutritional plan, strength training, resistance training, and staying as active as possible. When you do that, you actually enhance the benefits of these medications. Okay. And you know, the other thing is you have a chance of coming off of these medications. Which is the without, end goal. Exactly, yeah. without regaining all that weight. Yeah. And also staying on a low dose if you need to be on these medications for a long time. Okay. So that is foundational. Okay, good to know. Michelle from Phoenix, what are your thoughts on using a compounding pharmacy to make a generic, less expensive version? Oh, we just talked about this. We talked about it. Michelle, thank you for this question as well. So any medication or compounded prescription that is not FDA approved, I personally do not recommend it. Obesity societies actually do not recommend these medications because what that means is we cannot attest to the safety or ingredients or what comes with these prescriptions or even potency of these medications. So FD approval simply means they are safe, they have been tested again and again, yep. and they are out in the market because of their you know, safety profile. Okay, we've got time for one more. Hannah from Peoria says, I hear so much about Ozempic, Wigovi, Manjaro. It's so confusing. How do I know what's right for me? Great it is, question. It is confusing. And just quickly on Manjaro and Zepbound, those are two newer medications on the market. Yes. Manjaro and Zepbound are similar in terms of ingredients, okay. but Manjaro was released for diabetes, Zepbound for weight loss. They have two hormones in those prescriptions as opposed to Ozempic and semaglutide that have only one ingredient in it. So okay. that's the difference. And how do you know which one is right? You really have to talk to an expert who knows about obesity medicine, an endocrinologist, an obesity expert, or an internal medicine, family medicine doctor yeah. who knows about these medications and can monitor you safely. Yeah. Like we said earlier in the, the other half hour, talk to your doctor. Absolutely. They know you best. Exactly. All right, Dr. Sonal Harder, thank you so much. Great, great information.